In the space station, we can only use maybe three liters of water every day, three liters maximum. But on an average, people on the ground use 300 liters every day. So water is so precious. And uh, of course, I can live like that using only three liters every day in space. But whenever I come back to the Earth, I started to <laughs> use back again 300 liters. But uh, it's so precious, and uh, space flight always reminds us, uh, you know, uh, the amount of uh, resources that we are spending uh, on the ground. Eating together is very important to get along with each other, but uh, I think it depends on the preference of the crew, actually. You know, if uh, six of us are living in the same radio, uh, you know, uh, waves or frequency, in other words, if we uh, get up in, in early in the morning or eat together and uh, you know, go to bed uh, at some, some time in the evening, then it matches the life pattern, right? But sometimes if we try to uh, eat together for dinner, some crew members prefer to eat late and some people you know, like to have it early to go to bed uh, earlier. And then if you try to you know, have the dinner together always, it will make more kind of stress. So, you know, it, it depends on the preference of the crew members. So what we try to do uh, um, on my uh, third flight, uh, actually we ate all the time together, three meals a day, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, because we were in the same wavelength as far as I think uh, uh, the wake up time and the go to, going bed time. But uh, uh, fourth time when I flew, uh, we try to eat together only on weekends so that everybody can have the flexibility for the dinner time during the work, work days, Monday through Friday. And it worked out great, but it's very important that we share some moment away from work uh, so that we can you know, uh, talk about something other than work and then to, to relax. And uh, the meal time is a very precious time in space, not only at the family, you know, at home, but uh, in space too.